Mike here. This is a Yingling logger. This might tell you that I am no longer west of the Mississippi River. I now live in Pennsylvania. It's been quite a while since I've made a video. Uh, I've driven many, many, many miles. I've driven across the, the country twice. Once with a mo motorhome we lived in for 27 days, 5,000 miles. But here we are, we're living in a house now. I have a basement, I have a shop. Uh, I'm getting back to work. I have been busy, crazy, working on the house and everything. And I will make a video or two about some of those projects because, uh, you know, I don't know why. But uh, here we are. This is a 2001 Honda Recon my dad gave me. Uh, the uh, carburetor needed to be worked on a little bit, just cleaned. And uh, it runs now. The headlights the lights were giving me trouble. Put some new front tires on it. Little diggers in the back are good. I needed a place to put my chainsaw. So uh, I built this box for the chainsaw. Uh, it's still 250. Um, I, uh, I, it's a little heavy for the back of this four-wheeler here. Uh, the shock needs replaced. That'll make it sit up a little, a little bit higher, and I'll put some weight and stuff on the front. But um, the entire thing was built out of scrap material, stuff I just had laying around. I didn't buy one piece specifically for this project, just crap I had. So it's like half-inch plywood, uh, and it's pretty much just like nailed together with brad nails. And then the corners are all this uh, aluminum. It's like eighth inch thick. A lot of it's two by two, it's one by one. Um, <laughs> most people aren't gonna do this for a project like this. Uh, it would be very expensive. Uh, but fortunately, uh, the Science Center out in Portland was getting rid of a whole lot of stuff. And I was able to acquire it uh, whenever they're cleaning their things out, stuff out. So here's got some simple latches on here. It's a copper handle from a refrigerator that I built at some point. Four hinges, chain to hold the lid up. There's the chainsaw in there, it's pretty solid. Got my fuel mix, got my oil, got some straps and stuff. Then I got a hatchet right here, which is uh, held in place by that very simply. And then I have all these plastic posts that uh, I just put around where to keep this thing from moving. And then I have another one of these that I just, just shit that I had laying around. So the saw comes out, so that kind of keeps it from moving around. And then my little hidey hole down here for all little tools and stuff. Um, this, this little sucker is pretty great for uh, clamping your bar when you're uh, out in the woods and you need to need and should be sharpening your chainsaw. Um, just hammer this thing into a stump. I think it's called like a uh, stump vise. Uh, or a log. I like a log, a big heavy log you can sit and straddle and then face your bar. Works really well, but now I have this big box and I usually have the quad with me when I'm uh, I'm cutting out in trails and stuff. I'm thinking about mounting this thing in some way or uh, maybe going to Harbor Freight or something and getting like a really small vise that I can mount on this box somewhere. But, um, you know, keep my file back in there and extra chain. I like chain this old chain, I'm swapping it back and forth. But uh, yeah, overall the, wa the box has worked out really well. And I saw some pictures of different boxes people had built on the, on the, the, the YouTube or the Google. Um, this box, I kind of figured it out as I went along, but I built it to the dimensions of the rack. The rack was bent for me beating on this thing as a kid. Um, but what I ended up doing was making the uh, bottom, the size of the rack, and then more, I don't know, it's built to the dimensions of the rack. And then this aluminum on the end actually curls back and goes and kind of encapsulates the rack. You can see that piece there. It's really actually not very tight. I should be pulling that forward. Huh. But anyway, the whole thing just slides forward. And then uh, this ratchet strap is supposed to hold everything down and forward. Apparently it's not doing that very well. I'm glad I made the video. You get to see that, that issue. But it is locked in there pretty tight. So that's cool. Um, I got to do swing arm bearings on this. Um, the shock. Uh, I got to check to make sure my rear end's not leaking. And like I said, add a little weight to the front. And uh, that's cool. So anyway, thanks for watching.